Well, hello, and welcome to I Love Gay Today. And we are jumping into the bear world in New York. Isn't that obvious? And we are here with, I'm going to do this easy. I'm going to say we're here with Michael Q. You pronounce your last name for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, so my last name was pronounced Quinachet, part French, part Native American. Oh, thank you. I was going to just say it, and I probably would have said it okay, but I was afraid like, oh, I'm going to chop it up and he's going to kill me. <laughs> oh, I would never do that. No, I'm a, I'm a gentle soul. You know? <laughs> I know because I feel like I, we haven't met in the real world yet, but I feel like I know you because that gentle soul of you comes out through all the videos that you've uh, and just different social media posts. You're just really good at kind of sharing your message and getting the word out about your business, body positive massage therapy. Yeah, well, I feel like generally with businesses in general, I mean, especially when you are inquiring about them or you want to know more about them, the best way to get people to feel more comfortable is to show your face, yeah. you know? And so we're bombarded with so much social media and the internet. And so it's nice to have a human connection whenever you're trying to find out about anything in general, but specifically a touch-based business, which can be a very intimate space. Yeah. And that's, and that's, but, but you really do have a story to tell because you really, uh, the uniqueness of what you do, you, it's all your focus on the body positive side and you're really putting it out there that, Hey, you know, there are issues with larger men and bears and even older, older, older men and so forth. And you really kind of put that out there, not only through your storytelling, your website, but you make it very clear that, um, for folks that aren't really sure about how this works, that you'd be a great place to start. Yeah. Well, I think that we all have, I don't know if uh, the term horror stories or if that phrase is something that relates to anybody, but I feel like we all have some sort of insecurity about our body in general. And so it's nice to have a practitioner that puts all of that in the front of, that's very front facing in terms of their, their service. And so I know what it's like to not only with massages, but getting haircuts, um, I, all of these different services where you feel uncomfortable, yeah. um, feeling like the the service provider is uncomfortable, uncomfortable with you, either because of your size or your age, or because you're within a certain uh, marginalized community. Uh, maybe you're older. And so for me, I just feel like I really wanted to embrace all of those folks. I feel like they're left out and help them to realize everyone deserves the massage and self-care is a buzzword we've been hearing about the past couple of years. Yeah. So I'm like, let's just wrap all of that together and help people to embrace themselves so then they can eventually learn how to embrace others. Well said. But that's uh, but also you really focus. Uh, I know uh, uh, on, on your website and so forth, you focus a lot on Thai massage as a style. Yeah. So I'm obsessed with Thai massage. So I originally got my licensure in massage in Columbus, Ohio, my hometown in 2016. And when I worked at a spa, there was another massage therapist that also did Thai massage. And so I had never heard of it before. I finally got one from her as a free service and I became completely obsessed with the stretching and all of that. And so in January of 2023, I got an opportunity to study advanced Thai massage privately with a gay Thai massage therapist in Chiang Mai, Thailand for about three weeks and completely revolutionized my life. And the great thing about Thai massage is that it is intrinsically body positive because in traditional circles, you keep your clothes on and it's done traditionally on a mat on the floor. So I thought, what a great um, specific type of massage to do with folks that feel uncomfortable with uh, their body in general. They can choose to keep their clothes on or off and include some stretching with the traditional Swedish and deep, deep tissue massage. So um, the Thai Massage Foundation just became a component of the body positive uh, component, which is what I really preach today. As a side note, I'm I'm jealous you got to spend three weeks in Chiang Mai. It's one of my favorite places in the, all, all of Southeast Asia and so forth. It's such a great place. Oh, I'm obsessed. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to retire there. I mean, if I had to choose one place right now outside of the U.S. to retire, Chiang Mai, 100%. The weather was great. The people are great. I'm obsessed with the food. Yes, the yes. food is over the top. Yeah, I love it. 
Yeah, I love all that. No, but you, uh, as I've come to know you over the years, you're in New York now, and you say so you, uh, you uh, have a studio in in Manhattan in Union Square area, but you also do uh, in Queens as well. Yeah. Yeah, so I live in Astoria, Queens, which okay. I am really grateful to live here now because um, I'm here with a roommate who I met a couple of years ago, who uh, was a, a former client of mine who I met at Bigger Vegas okay. uh, the first time I went there. And we've kept throughout uh, in touch throughout the years on Instagram and whenever I would visit New York. I would stay with him. And so he has a two bedroom finally opened up. And so I'm in Astoria, Queens now, which is where I live. And this is where I also have a home office where I can do massage as well. In addition to my, uh, my office in Union Square. So for all of the Manhattan nights that don't want to cross the bridge, uh, <laughs> I said, let me, uh, let me be the change that I want to see. And I will come to you a little bit closer. So I love that. But also when you were talking about uh, where you met uh, your roommate there, um, the idea, I see you also, you, uh, you really attend and you, you get yourself out there in the real world through a lot of events, bear events, leather events. And I'm assuming that must work well for you also. Yeah. I mean, for me, one of the great things about being originally from Columbus, Ohio, is that the Midwest has a lot of bears in general. You know, it's, you know, it's a, a state of four seasons. There's lots of bear events in Columbus. There's uh, the leather event claw in Cleveland. There's North American bear in Lexington. There's Midwest Bear Fest in, um, uh, in um, Indianapolis. And so there are so many bear events in the Midwestern area that I could just drive yeah. there and do massage. And I found that um, the bears generally, they were the ones that really helped me to really hone in on this body positive component. So yeah. through meeting folks on Growler and meeting promoters like uh, Adam Rodriguez route in uh, Lexington, it's been great to be able to provide a service to a lot of larger or order guys that have never, uh, who felt like massage was something that was never really attainable to them uh, because of, their body and size. So I'm grateful to do all of these amazing, wonderful events. That's nice. Yeah. And in fact, that's when uh, it was at ALC, AIDS Life Cycle, right? Uh, about, I think it was two years ago. And you were on, yeah. you were a part of that and you were, you were providing yeah. that service, I think along the entire route. And I was stalking you because I was there and I was hoping to connect with yeah. you, but you were too busy. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I wish we would have connected. Yeah. So I, so I moved to the Sacramento area in September, 2018 and then Palm Springs of August, 2020. And I met some massage therapists in Palm Springs who also were associated with the AIDS life cycle massage team. And I thought this is amazing. And what a great, uh, uh seven day, excursion to go to these different cities all down the coast and meet a bunch of different sports-minded massage therapists, um, fundraising for a great cause and meeting so many wonderful people. Yeah. It was an amazing experience. It was, it was honestly life-changing. Yeah. Well, and what I was saying at the beginning and, and bringing it towards the end here is just that, but you do such a great job. The reason I even knew you were at ALC and all that is because you really put yourself out there in a very positive way positive way you don't overdo it and uh but i also love the fact that you've been making more and more videos nowadays too yeah i mean for me i'm I, as well even more specifically with like tiktok that was that's just like a you know it's very kind of gorilla style i just yeah. feel like i'm still trying to figure out what it is i <laughs> i don't know i don't know what i'm doing i'm just i'm just putting up things and memes and trying to figure out what the kids are doing so yeah. i just love putting my face out there because what i realized with what i do for a living um people want to know me and i think when they feel comfortable with me that'll help them to feel more comfortable with themselves so that's why i try to put myself out, out there as much as possible i love that well I, I love watching you online, but um, I get to New York often enough. And so the next, I, I used to live there. Now I live two hours outside the city. And uh, next time I'm there, I'm going to let you know so that uh, maybe we can just connect, meet up for a coffee, a cocktail, whatever, whatever works for both. Oh, that would be amazing. I really, yes, yes. I feel like, like you mentioned before, I feel like we've already had this connection and we've just been, you know, two ships passing in the night. So I'm looking forward <laughs> to absolutely um, uh, spending some time with you. 
I love that. But no, thanks so much for taking a few moments of your time and kind of sharing a bit of your story with our audience. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Yes. And likewise. All right. You. Thanks. It feels good, so good.